在悉尼海湾的中心地带有许多小岛，它们置身于悉尼标志性的海港大桥和歌剧院之间，仿佛是一颗颗耀眼的珍珠，让悉尼海港更加的夺目。其中最大的岛屿呢是美冠鹦鹉岛。对于只有两百多年历史的澳大利亚而言呢，美冠鹦鹉岛算是历史悠久了，它见证了澳大利亚的发展历史。目前呢，美冠鹦鹉岛被联合国教科文组织列为世界文化遗产。那里呢，已经成为了悉尼一个非常重要的文化历史景点。现在呢，就请跟随我一起去了解一下吧沿悉尼大桥西行，在帕拉马特河与兰蔻河的交界处，有一座美丽的小岛，与著名的悉尼海港大桥和歌剧院隔水相望。小岛占地十八公顷，曾经树木茂盛，鹦鹉成群，而得名美冠鹦鹉岛。美冠鹦鹉岛在被关闭了十几年之后，如今重新启用，作为观光景点开放给公众。Hello， 大家好，我们从环形码头出发呢，大概坐船十几分钟的时间，就来到了这个悉尼港口最大的岛屿 p o p t o Island 美冠鹦鹉岛。那么今天呢，让我们跟着我们的导游 Tony 去参观一下。你好 ，Welcome to c o c k t o Island， the biggest island in Sydney Harbour， beautiful place， beautiful day。Lots to see today, so let's have a look around. Let's go. Okay. 今天人们慕名踏上这座小岛时，眼前只是一座废弃的造船厂遗址，可它却记载了一段值得澳洲人炫耀的历史故事。So here we see a picture from 1944 during the Second World War. During the war, this became the main ship repair facility for all of the Allied fleet. So if anything got damaged in the South Pacific, brought down here for repairs. So you can see lots of activity around the island, in the dry docks as well. So this was a very busy place during the war. 那么这枚非常醒目的大炮是否也是战争的痕迹呢？说起它的由来 ，Tony 还卖了一个关子。So here we've got a, a cannon. Uh, this dates from 1797, and uh, it was used on the island, but not as a, a cannon. It was used for something completely different. What is it? Uh, a little later on, I'll show you where oh, it used okay. to be, but it was not used as a cannon. When the first and second world war broke out, the Royal Navy's ship was already a hiding place for the Royal Navy's fleet and the Royal Navy's fleet, and the Royal Navy's fleet was provided with all the necessary supplies and equipment to protect the ship. It also left the end of the war with a heavy loss. So this is called the turbine shop. This is the biggest workshop we've got on the the island, uh, built during the Second World War. In this、uh, workshop, this is where they built all the big turbines, all the big engines, anything large for the ships themselves. So you can see in this photograph here,、uh, there's a man standing right there. You can see how big this machinery is right here. So. Now, this biggest turbine shop. In this space, this is where we had the big stage area, so the bigger acts performed in here. So we've got about eight or nine thousand people watching the concert in here. This small island's buildings are all pre-made. Okay, so what we have here is a nice sandstone building.、Uh, all the sandstone buildings you see on the island here were built by the prisoners when it was a prison on the island,、uh, and the prisoners themselves built the buildings. So this is the oldest workshop. We have on the island.、Uh, you see, quite nice sandstone, nice work around the windows,、uh, and this is what they built to have all the machinery for the first dry dock. 由于美冠鹦鹉岛特殊的地理位置，不利逃跑。从1839年起，小岛被用来做监狱。
And this was perfect because this island is surrounded by deep water. Uh, the prisoners were wearing leg irons at all times so they could not move their feet too much. And uh, over in Balmain over there behind me is where there used to be an abattoir. And uh, at the end of the day all the remains used to get thrown in the water so there were lots of sharks swimming around the island as well. So if a prisoner was going to try and escape he'd have to contend with his leg irons being on and not many people could swim in those days either. So the only person we know of who did escape was a man called Frederick Ward, Fred Ward. And he swam over to the point over here, the rocky point there, and his wife Mary was waiting there, and she had a white horse. So the point over there, the rocky point over there, called White Horse Point, because that's where the white horse was waiting for him. Here is the prison. It is set in the top of the mountain. The two houses are the place of the people of the time and the place of the people of the time. The space of the house has been closed for 500 people. So another reason the prisoners were sent here was because this island is made of sandstone, Hawkesbury sandstone, very nice sandstone. And there were lots of building works going on around Sydney at the time. And uh, they thought, we've got the prisoners here, we'll get them to quarry the sandstone, sort of cut the sandstone into the box. And they could use that sandstone all over New South Wales. So, around Circular Quay, where everybody gets to Cockatoo from on the ferries, a lot of that rock, rock wall around Circular Quay, a lot of that sandstone came from this island, quarried by the prisoners themselves. Oh, sandstone. This is the King Wei's house, the first building of the island. It was a high-level military building, and it was used for a building. If the prisoner is running away, he can use the building of the building to open the building. The building of the Roman building is still clear to the building. In 1850, the prisoners built two cars on the island, and started serving the army and the army, and the army 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 and the army. 这就是建立于一九一三年的联邦海军造船厂的前身。澳洲的第一艘钢铁军舰就是在这个岛上建成的。Okay, behind me is the Sutherland Dock.、Uh, this was built in 1890. And、uh, this was the biggest dry dock in the world when it was completed for about 18 months or so.、Uh, so you can see down the far end the big steel、uh, gate case on、uh, that would slide out of the way if a ship was coming in. The cranes would go down there, attached to the ship, and then the cranes would bring the ship inside. When that was the ship was inside, then they'd close the gate, pump the water out, and then work on the ship in dry conditions. The First World War fought the Great Ocean Liner and the Great Ocean Liner fought the Great Ocean Liner and the Great Ocean Liner fought the 两百五十只船在此被整修为战时运兵船，五百只船被维护和修理。第二次世界大战期间，这个岛是南西部太平洋地区主要的造船厂。So、well, during the Second World War, though,、uh, this island became the main ship repair facility for all of the Allied fleet. So the friends of Australia, Britain, the America,、uh, if anything got damaged in the South Pacific. They were brought down here for repairs. 当时在这里的劳工高达三四千人。萨德兰码头停靠了七百五十艘船，有三百五十艘船被快速的修理后继续服役。So this is the USS New Orleans,、um, attacked off the Solomon Islands, 1942. Front of the ship was blown away.、Uh, this was the nearest Allied port for repairs, so、uh, the ship sailed here backwards from the Solomon Islands, so it could get a temporary bow placed on the front of the ship, so it could get back to America for repairs. So. Remember the entrance to the main gate? It has many friends who are here too. Brought out as ballast on the ship, so at the bottom of the ship, when the ships came out to keep the boat down, and when they arrived, what do you do with a cannon? You turn it into a bollard, to, so you can tie up the ship. So they just added the little bit there to tie the ropes to the rest of it, the other cannon. Okay. Yep. 要想到达小岛的另一边，这里还有个捷径。
Okay, what we have here is the main tunnel, goes right through the middle of the island, so you can see the other side of the island at the end there. Uh, and this was cut through in 1914. It was the first tunnel on the island, the other Dog Lake Tunnel was Second World War, this was First World War. Uh, purely to get men and equipment from one side of the island to the other quickly. Prior to this, if they needed to move equipment around from one side to the other, they had to put things on a badge and sail it around. So this made sense to go right through the middle. Bomb是用来炸掉这个岛屿的。旁边的这个滑板就是当船造好的时候，从这里滑向海面。在第一次世界大战的时候，有二十二只大船以及大量的船舶在这里筑城。So here we are on the number one slipway on the island. Um, this was built uh, in 1914, uh, and this is about 12 meters thick. The concrete is 12 meters thick that we're standing on here, so it had to be very strong to support the ships as they were built. Built on rails. So when the ship was ready to be launched, they'd pull the lever and the ship would just glide down the slipway into the ocean. Why this island was closed in 1992? 91, yeah, end of 91. Uh, it was decided it was getting a little bit too expensive to build ships here. They had a few industrial problems as well, and uh, it was decided that even though it sounds romantic, having a shipbuilding yard on an island, it's not very practical because there's no rail access, no road access, so everything had to be brought and taken away by water. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was decided to close down the island in 1991. <laughs> 四十座建筑被拆毁 2001年,悉尼海港联盟基金接管了美冠鹦鹉岛,并开始主要的修复工作,还原它的历史面貌。houses there and that sort of thing. Uh, it's all about getting the public back involved in the history of the place and also have cultural events and uh, uh, once again having the campsite down here means opening up to the public so uh, the people of Sydney can enjoy all these sites. 美观鹦鹉岛不仅浓缩了澳洲的发展历史，同时呢，它得天独厚的地理环境也为观光客们提供了一个绝佳的观赏平台。小岛啊，每天对公众开放，没有来过这里的观众朋友呢，不妨体会